I have served dukes, princes, kings. And here he is, our campione Ezio. Oh, oh hey, hey, Ezio. Ezio! I see you wasted no time starting the celebration. And why not? You've done us a great service, Nipote. With Vieri dead, La Toscana will grow quiet once more. Do you know what that means? Basta lavorare. Si passa tutto il giorno a bere. E a puttane. What? It's true. <laughs> <laughs> Come, Ezio. Walk with me. Yes, uncle. The Pazzi answered to another. The Spaniard. He is Rodrigo Borgia. One of the most powerful men in all of Europe. And leader of the Templar Order. Which makes him responsible for the murder of my father and brothers. Yes. And he will kill you too, given the chance. Then I must stand against him if I wish to be free. But not until every other Templar has fallen to my blade. Father's list will guide me. Where will you go next? Firenze. Francesco de Pazzi will share the fate of his son. A sensible next step. No doubt he intends evil for the city. All right. That's enough grim talk for one night. I'll be in my study if you need me. I shall read the letter my uncle gave me. Look familiar? On their codex pages. Yes. Your father managed to find and translate a few before he... Here. This is not your father's work. Someone else has translated it. Leonardo da Vinci, a friend. Do you see the way the words cross from one page to the next? There is something underneath it all. Some kind of map. Where is it supposed to lead? Your father and I managed to make out bits of a prophecy scrawled across these pages. It was written by an assassin like us, who long ago held a piece of Eden. His name was Altair. He spoke of something powerful and ancient hidden beneath the land. What is it? What indeed? Solving that little mystery is exactly why we collected these pages. Then let me help. It's time I take on my father's work. All of it. I start with the page I took from Bieri. Leonardo will decode it for us. Ben, return here when time permits, and we'll add it to the wall.
I only aim to heal. You'll not find fairer prices than these. Send me your meat.
Salute, Claudia. Our uncle is un monstro. This is outrageous. What's happened? He's making me work. If father was here, I'd never be stuck behind a desk like this. And what are the terms of this supposed enslavement? Since someone decided we're going to stay here, Tio Mario suggested we try and find the money to repair the villa. Problem is, there isn't any. I bet I can bring in some money. Oh, great. More work for me. Well, benissimo. If you start paying for improvements to the town, I'll keep track of them in this book. And since I have nothing better to do, I'll also make note of any objects you bring in from the outside. If you actually get this place up and running, travelers might visit and spend money. Although I doubt anyone will want to come this far out of the city. But if they do, I'll keep the money we make in this chest. You're going to have to show up to take it to the bank yourself. Because when it gets full, I'm just going to take the extra cash for myself. Capito? Deal. Buongiorno. Is there something wrong? Yes, sir. Mario hired me to deal with this mess, but I'm an architetto, not a miracle worker. Without money, I can't fix any of these buildings. And if someone brought you money? Eh, then we'd be in business. Uh, you must be Serezio. Am I right? Uncle! I like this architetto. He gets very observant when he can smell money. If you want to fix up this town, I'm going to need it. I have a price list here for new shops and renovations. Just bring me gold, make a choice, and I'll begin at once. If I build you a shop, you, as the landlord, can purchase goods there at lower rates. If you invest more money in the shop, you get an even greater discount. As for renovations, well, you'll be bringing the town and villa back to life. As Sir Mario tells me, that was very important to your great-great-grandfather. Plus, when you buy shops and renovations, you'll be increasing the number of people who visit, causing your income to increase. So, let's take a look, shall we? Buon viaggio! Ezio, my boy. I think it's time I showed you something. This is the sanctuary. It was built by my great-grandfather to honor the memory of the Assassin Order and protect its secrets. Look around. These are the Assassins who guarded the freedom of humanity when it was most threatened. And this is the armor of Altair. Little is known about Altair's life, but his armor is light and very strong. I give it to you, but I don't know how to retrieve it. My great-grandfather told me it would remain locked away until all its protectors were made whole. I heard rumors of crypts located throughout Italia, hidden tombs filled with treasure, where these six were moved centuries ago. 
Maybe they have something to do with it. In my younger days, I sought the six myself, with no success. Perhaps you will have better luck. In order to achieve perfect synchronization with Ezio, you have to get that armor. Ezio, you are still alive. Look at this place. The past two years have been kind to you. But you are not the same at all, are you? I was hoping you might be able to help me with something. Anything for you, my friend. Haha! -ha! You found another one! How exciting! Hmm. This one is tricky to break. Clever in its use of ancient languages. Maybe if I just... Oh! Oh! It seems to be a manual of sorts for different assassination techniques. May I see it? Wait, what's that? It's not so much a design this time, just a series of sketches. Hmm. What to make of all this? Ha <laughs> ha! Of course. And why not? What an inspired idea. Can you make it for me while I try what's in that manual fragment? Take it. I'll have my assistant set up some dummies for you to practice with. Hey, Vincenzo!
I've done it. Come quickly. Look. Take it. Try it. Thank you, Leonardo. Non c'è di che. There's someone I need to see while I'm here. I cannot approach him publicly. Would you know a way? La volpe. The fox. Shh. Capisco. But do you know where a fox might roam? Perhaps near the mercato, where the thieves dwell. Sta attento, amico. My recent good fortune finding new suppliers has paid off. Stati attenti tutti! Would the wine merchant who left his carriage by Vito the butcher? Please move before the evening. Unbelievable prices I have for you, stimati clienti. You will say I am quite fast. Liar! What? My pouch! Oh, my money! Your money! I don't have your money! <laughs> Get back here! Make me! You're making a big mistake, my friend! Enough of this! Enough indeed! Why don't you give up? I really have no interest in hurting you. So give me back my money and we'll call it even. Not so fast. What do you want? Who are you? They call me many things. <laughs> Murderer. Tagliagole. Thief. But you may call me La Volpe. At your service, Messer Ezio. <laughs> How do you know my name? <laughs> it is my business to know everything in this city. Isn't that why you're here? Indeed. I need to find someone. To know where he'll be before even he does. Who? Francesco de Pazzi. There's word on the street of a caravan just arrived from Roma. A secret meeting at sunset tonight. You can learn something of Francesco's whereabouts there. Do you know where it is to be held? Ma certo. Let me know when you are ready, and we'll go. Ah, yes. <laughs> Here is your money. <laughs> <laughs> 